Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of my Panasonic SBWA530 subwoofer. Don't believe me? I'll show you the back. And the amplifier too, that's huge. SB minus WA530 active subwoofer by Panasonic, made in Indonesia. Now, if you're wondering what that little thing around there is, that is to stop from any air leaks coming out of the port as well, when it's firing. And I got something else to show you. This is the original speaker that came out of it. And I've got no idea what what is these speakers are, but they're in great condition. I could probably make about 20 bucks off these drivers. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now if I remove this grill, you will be able to get access to the speakers themselves. So if I can get it off. This thing is ridiculously hard to get off. Here it is. And this is how the speakers actually sit in here. And you got it just like that. Like that. In there. Now if I, if you look closely, right there, and you got the bottom one, oh wow that bounce is good, and you got the speaker on the back, now the number of this thing, if you're looking for replacement drivers such as this, L zero double A one three A zero 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 five. Or if it's a different number, capital M capital C five eight two five. Now I think this is a eight ohm speaker or a six ohms. No idea, but we will be having a look inside this today. Now if I put a little bit of glue around there because um it's had such bad air leak, it had really really bad air leaks on it. And it was just getting quite annoying too. Yeah, that's a pure red speaker right there. Such as the other one. one. I will give you a good review of this thing. This thing is such a beast. This thing rattled my whole house. It's nuts. It's the amplifier that does that. The amplifier sends signal to the speakers. It's the magnet of that speaker. Same number on there. Inside the port. Anywho, let's dive right in. Let's see if we can have a look at this, this amplifier. We are not going to touch anything in here because I've only just turned this off and it's ridiculously warm. If you want to put it under your TV cabinet, just flip it over on its side. No, it's not that warm. Anyway, so there's six screws right here. One. 
two, three, four, five, six. They are Phillips heads, so we will have to get a Phillips head screwdriver for this beautiful speaker. It's perfectly functional as well. Focusing all the Oh there my fish. Let's head to my room and grab a screwdriver. Here we go, and I'll just grab the speaker and Bring it out here and do it. We are not going to completely strip it down. We're just going to have a look at the amplifier and the speakers. Ow! And we are facing the amplifier right now. Screw these. Now, in for second hand store, this speaker cost me about twenty five dollars. It's ridiculous. Sorry guys, if it's a bit fuzzy, my phone just does that all the time. It's ridiculous. And there is the screw right there. Where are you, little guy? Ooh. Found you. Let's get this thing out of here. These are the screws that we got out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Phillips head screws. Unfortunately, I cannot get the port out because it is stuck in there with glue. It's hard to get out. 
But I don't have to stop from any air leaks. And even glue in the screws. Too. Isn't that crazy? There's the fan. I want this video to get up to 500 views, please. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, I'll be right back. Now, a quick disclaimer. Now, be aware there are there is high voltage in these amplifiers. Now, if you're ever going to change a fan or a speaker or a component inside this amp, do be careful, please. Do not get hurt. Like, I accidentally shot myself. That was a while ago. Oh wow, it's much lighter doing that way. Wow. But is the amplifier in there? Whoa, that's a big transformer in there. Wow. That's actually what that the vent is there for. If you look closely, there are diodes and capacitors in here. Now, do not put anything metal into there, otherwise it will short out the circuits in the capacitors. And then, and then what you're going to do? You won't have any sound because your speaker will be busted. That would not be good. And this compartment is completely sealed. There is no... Wait, gap in there. Okay. Guys, it takes a while. I'm sorry about that. It takes a while for me to get out. And this connector here, this goes to the speakers around there, the top one and the bottom one, and these things here go to the front, center, and surround speakers. This is a full 5.1 surround sound system. That's right, you heard it. 5.1. Surround sound. Wow, isn't that mad? Get stuck. But, okay, I guess that doesn't want to close. Let's move around to the speakers at the front. Wow, this thing's heavy. Let's get the screwdriver. Oh, that's tight. If you do that, it'll get all the dust out of the holes.
Tell me you might. This is the back of the port, back of the port. These connectors won't shock you because they don't carry as much voltage as the amplifier does. Ow. This one's tough. And you got the speaker. Hooray! Let's take this one out. Oh, I'll move that over so you can see the screws. And this thing is completely mad. Barely get any room in there. It's really out there. And you guys see where the wires go. They go into the back of the amplifier. Oh, sorry, that's a fan. Into the amplifier somewhere. And this extra wire goes right onto the, the power light down there. that what is that guys are you seeing it what is that nothing there what is that Is that from one of the screws? Look. Turn that saucer from getting stripped. Interesting. That is so interesting. Do it on the other one? No. Then do it on the other one.
Is that even supposed to be that? Guys, I'm confused right now. That little silver bit? I think that's from the screw. Was that just from the glue? I've got no idea, guys. Um, these speakers are magnetically shielded, so it's perfectly safe. Ah, weird. Oh, and this is how I put the speakers back in. That's clever. Let's do the other one. Let's zoom up on this so we can see the action. Let's set it up and watch this. Like that! Woo! Now... I couldn't film the other one because I didn't have the camera like that, so... Yeah, that's confusing, eh? And not be able to see the thing in action. Oh no, I got big feet. <laughs> Alright, I cut that out. I cut that out. I cut it out, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to see that, say that. My mum always says I have big feet. Beautiful day today. Light. Now let's put together the speaker. This is almost a big speaker kit or something. Man. Whoa.
You know, a technician could do this too. That is how you put together a speaker. Well, that's how you put together the speaker drivers in there anyway. You know what I mean, guys? Of course you do. Go. Go. Go away. Sorry about that. No, I did not hit him. I hate being disturbed during a video. Amplifier. Amplifier. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Apparently this one is stuffed, so I can't put that in. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Guys, I'll be right back as soon as I put this thing back together. Right, I put the amplifier back together in its position. Now let's do this. Put the screws in their position before you put, before you screw them in. There we go. Trying to do the horn out there, that's strange. Always align the holes with the screws before you screw these in like that. Last thing to do, put the cover on.
I think I caught it. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you and have a great day. Share this video with your friends. I would really appreciate that. Get this video up to 2,000 views and 20 likes. Thank you very much and shout out to Damien Reese Jones for watching my videos. Bro, I appreciate that man. Thanks for watching and have a great day.